What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already. If you haven't, it means the world to your boy. If you subscribe, comment, like, share. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell on the top right hand corner. So when I release a video, you get a notification and I get a view. Sharing is caring and it helps my channel grow. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's living underscore in underscore LDN. It's all lowercase and give your boy a follow. We're nearly at 5,000. 6,000, or is it 5,000? Five or six, I think it's five. We're nearly at 5,000, so give your boy a follow. Anyway, people, yo, it's going down. YouTube dramas, eh? Now Scar City wants to take some uh, shots at your boy. Come on, Scar City, man. You see how I've been dealing with people left and right lately, man? Come on, why do you want to come at me like that? Like, it's not really a proper diss. Like, it's more just like a, a sneak diss, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to address that, and then we're going to address Jordan McCann talking sense finally, you know? Always happens when you go to prison, though. Is it jail talk or not? We get into it. So first off, Scar City, huh? He releases a video like I said he would. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have known I would have I done a video saying Scar City is going to do a video on this. Festifiers. They waited a couple of weeks, but they done it. Festifiers video was cool. <clears throat> Scar City's video, he done it, but he done it, and like sent a couple of shots at me, and then started talking shit himself about the situation, speculating. You know what I'm saying? So he was saying. Stuff like people are releasing videos about Jordan McCann for clout. It's lies and um, they need to triple check their sources. Don't believe everything you read on the internet and don't let people just get in your DMs and chat shit to you. Basically, talking about me, but about putting my name on it. Scar City, my G, yeah? If you're going to talk about me, put my name on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we'll get into it. First of all, yeah, <clears throat> he said that um, Jordan McCann has released a statement He's all good and um, he's on remand. He's not on remand, bro. He's on license recall. Do you know what I'm saying? So when you want to get facts out there to people, make sure you're saying the right thing because remand and recall, they're two different things. I know they both begin with R, my G, but they're two different things. Do you know what I'm saying? Cool. So he's been recalled because part of his probation uh, or his parole or his license is that he doesn't make money without informing probation. His team was saying that he, in, he was trying to get meetings with probation, but probation kept like longing the meeting off, longing the meeting off. So Jordan's team behind the scenes were just carrying on as normal, expecting to get a meeting with probation, but it never happened. Yeah, cool. So that's why he's in prison. Not on remand, remember? He's recalled. Cool. So that's one thing he got wrong. <clears throat> then he said that um, you shouldn't believe everything you read off the internet. Yeah, and just make sure you triple check your sources. My guy. All you done was go on Jordan McCann's Instagram. He released a phone call that he made with someone, yeah, talking, and you reported that as fact. You didn't triple check that in. Like you said at the end of that video, you didn't even speak to no one from his team. But you're just going off an Instagram post. Is that how you're reporting that? Now, see me, I'm a fan of all these people, but I'm also more of a fan of the truth and the right thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So, when... <clears throat> um, when Jordan McCann, yeah, is going on and he's making a fool of himself, yeah, I'm not the one, yeah, that's going to watch it and think, yeah, that's the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, he should do that. He should carry on with that shit. I'm going to comment on it and say, yo, this guy's acting like a donut. Do you know what I'm saying? Cool, yeah? And second off, bro, yeah, if you're going to report things, yeah, if you're going to report things, do it by your own standard. Don't go out and tell me, oh, don't be getting DM'd of certain people or, or just random people, yeah, and fucking um, report it as fact. But you're literally doing that and telling me not to do it. I'm telling you, I spoke to people behind the door, bro. Real G's, not no donuts. Real serious members, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and they told me, they're not no idiots, not no little kids. It's not no little chitty, chatty, fucking girls gossip thing. You know what I'm saying? I put this front on when I'm uh, just giving you the story and that but trust me bruv it's real shit behind the scenes you know bro you know and I don't like don't know how much DMs and oh this happened with Jordan that happened with Jordan I don't post everything I hear I don't post rumours and speculation about everything but when I'm solid on certain things and I know a few real G's have told me the same thing not just one but a couple I'm running with it you feel me and then He's talking about oh, uh, triple checking sources and that, brother. Oh, you didn't triple check nothing. Huh? Mine are from two different people. Yeah? All your sources is the person that got attacked has released a phone call, bruv. He could be on a healthcare with a bandage around his whole fucking head. You don't even know. But you're like, no, he's fine. He didn't even say he was fine. 
He didn't say physically he's fine. And remember, he was releasing that public statement because of what the videos I made and the controversy that I had caused. So if you're going to release a video based on that, why wouldn't you say, look, I haven't been attacked in prison. I'm good. Um, if anyone out there is saying I have, they're talking shit. That clears it up. What he said is, I'm good now. I made a lot of mistakes in the past. Uh, I got caught up in the whole social media thing and everything else. And it just, um, I just lost my mind of it. Now, this is what I was saying to Jordan McCann. This is what I was saying the whole time as a fan, as someone that wants the guy to do well. I'm saying, bro, this guy is on a fucking collision course with fucking destruction. You know what I'm saying? He's on a path of destruction. He's just doing dumb shit. He's moving like a nitty. He's moving like a fucking football hooligan, getting drunk, fighting security thingies. He's banging like some dead tarts and that. Like, what's he doing? Like, fix up, focus on your career. Focus on bettering your family's shit and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Actually know what kind of um, uh, situation you're in. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't just fucking piss it away and then, like, inspire the kids to go out and be ready to do 30 years and all this other shit. Actually have some responsibility of your position. That's what I was trying to tell him. You know what I'm saying? Still make banging music, still make bangers, but be real with it, you know? Come, that's all I was saying, because I can see the balls were falling off. Now, Jordan McCann must have had a lot of yes-men around him, innit? He must have had a lot of yes-men around him, because now that he's in prison, he's literally saying what I said. He's get, he got caught up on it, he, he respects his position, and he wants to do better. Now, if he would have listened to all you fucks in the comments, he would have been shooting up the McDonald's worker, coming to shoot me up, and coming to fucking be a super gangster and get 40 years in jail and fucking throw away his position and trick himself out of it. That's from you fans. That's from the people that can, like, actually, oh, yeah, we love Jordan, we're his fans. You're a dickhead for saying what you're saying. Like, you lot are just living off the image in your head. You're not actually putting... You're not actually putting a... Per you're objectifying Jordan. You're not even, like, putting... Seeing him as a person. You're just like, oh, this guy's a gangster. He made a gangster tune one time about it. he'd done some gangster shit back in the day. So every situation he has to deal with a gangster way. Nah, man, that's for your entertainment. But he's going to suffer. So if you really are a Jordan fan, then you're going to think, what's the best for Jordan McCann? What's the longevity? How do you get the longest fucking, the longest out of the person you like? And that's not by fighting McDonald's workers. It's not by going out and get, getting coked up. It's not by fucking beefing. It's just, you know, you've got to focus your shit. And that's all I'm saying, people. And you know how I know, yeah, this Jordan McCann thing, that he got hot water is 100%. Look at the reaction I got. Look at his brother Pa come at me. That fucking uh, Jerry come at me. And Jordan McCann released a public statement. They're thinking, how the fuck does this guy know? Come on, bro. I know because I know, my G. You know anyone's there? So Jordan McCann's talking sense now because he's behind the door. And he's actually, when you go to prison, you realise... But a lot of the time you realize like you're going there when you're a skin, your bird's fucking out and all the other shit. You think, fuck, I had too many snakes around me, I got caught up and I fucking took my eye off the ball. Happens to all of us. Do you know what I'm saying? Whether you're on the road, celebs, whatever, you can just get caught up in it. So I, I understand that shit. That's just human nature. But correct it and come again. Now I'm looking forward to Jordan releasing new music when he comes out and with a new head and uh, a new outlook. You know what I'm saying? On his future. And that's what you want. You want the best from the people that you're a fan of. And I'm a fan of Jordan McCann, but at the same time, I'm not a stan of Jordan McCann. And if he's doing dumb shit, if he's lying, if he's doing all this other shit, and he's acting a fool, and he's, like I've said already, then I'm going to call him out on it. And for all you fuckers that don't, you're what you call a yes man. And everything you do, you're just like, yep, that's right. Yep, that's right. And when he goes to jail and gets 30 years, you're like, oh, well, who else is there? Do you know what I'm saying? That's not real shit. Come on. <sighs> anyway, people, it's your boy living in London. I just thought I would just uh, drop this video and uh, I'm going to give you a story tomorrow because I've been getting a lot of fucking people asking me about stories and this and that. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll fucking just give you another celebrity. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I might give you a story during the day and then I'm going to give you a Darren G video t uh, tomorrow. Damon G's my guy. I heard he's done a live the other day. He shouted me out and that. We're going to meet up soon. Damon, I know I've been a bit... Whatever behind the scenes, but we're linking up soon, my guy. Yeah, shout out to Darren G. The Darren G and Ben Patrick fight didn't happen, so the fucking video on that's coming tomorrow. Anyway, people, it's your boy living in London. If you want all the YouTube gossip, all the dramas, all the beefs, all the kind of advice and shit, come here. This is the spot, people. Anyway, subscribe, comment, like, share. All that good shit, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.